everybody this is your feel good breakfast show this morning we are joined by singer songwriter as well as producer Laurie Levine with her eighth studio release entitled Dunes now Levine's debut unspoken surfaced in 2007 and has you know over the past 15 years earned multiple accolades including four South African music award music award nominations as well as two ovation awards for her live performances at the National Arts Festival in Grahamstown now here is a little taste of the first single off the EP entitled Reptilian. Take a look at this. Please come and give Lori a feel good welcome, everybody. Mm -hmm. Welcome. How are you? Hi, it's so wonderful to be here. I'm very good. Thank you. We are so happy to have you. You are so talented. And I never like to box artists or box, box musicians, but if you had to describe your sound to us, because I mean, based off the sound check, I see a little bit of country coming through. Is that how you'd explain your sound? So, for many years, I was in the folk country uh, singer songwriter area. And I've sort of grown into a new sound landscape. Um, it's got a bit of dream pop, a bit of indie, and it of course draws on my singer-songwriter roots. But it is hard to box things these days. No, definitely. What is it about, you know, this type of music that you really resonate with and connect with? Um, I really love the spaciousness of it. Um, I like bringing in bits of electronica. Um, and I like the mood. I like something kind of quite dark, but also very rooted in real instruments. Is that what we can expect today on your Feel Good Breakfast show? Absolutely, absolutely. Tell us about your brand new EP called Dunes. What inspired this track and where are you now in terms of performing it throughout South Africa on the world platform? Where are you in terms of that? So Dunes was, in, it's basically an EP about the body. Um, it uses the metaphor of dunes for this idea that we are traveling through time and space on this sort of solitary journey and we're connecting with people along the way. And it's a very emotional record. Um, in terms of performances, I, um, I plan to be going on the road very soon. I'm actually starting my tour today. And um, uh, we've been releasing the singles one by one throughout the last month or so, and then it will culminate in the release of the EP on the 27th of May. Exciting, exciting stuff. Being able to tour the country, that must be exciting. How good does it feel to get out there again, you know, after this two years, crazy time, so every artist out there, but how good does it feel to be able to go out there, have people listen to your music and be able to perform again? It feels extraordinary. <laughs> you know, as a performer, it's really what brings your songs to life is performing them in front of a live audience. And just to have that feedback from an audience, it feels absolutely magical. So I'm so thrilled that we're able to do this again after a very long break. And in terms of the tour, what can people expect uh, from you going out on the road as well? Um, and this performance is where can people reach you uh, in terms of you performing uh, everywhere through the country? So I'm going to be performing with my good friend Jack Thomas and we're going on the road together. We're going to be in KZN. We start um, tomorrow night in Umzumbi. Friday we'll be at Caversham Mill in the Midlands and Saturday at St. Clements in Durban. That's followed by a show in Cape Town on the 21st of May. Um, and then we'll be in Josie and Gauteng in June. And people can find us on social media. Um, and yeah, please do come say hi at one of the shows. Please do say hi to Lori Levine. She's going to be blessing us with three performances today, so you do not want to miss it. She's here to rock start your Wednesday morning. But that being said, it is that time now to get into this news headlines. Mr. Nature Boy is standing by for just that.